short-termism or myopia is an excessive focus on the immediate outcome. There's very much this perception that finance rewards strong current activity. For many people, that's, that's an incorrect understanding because if you look at where stocks are trading these days, they're trading approximately 12 to 18 times earnings. In other words, the stock price is a multiple of current earnings by a factor of 12 to 18. What does that mean? It means that the current outcome is somewhere between 1 12th and 1 18th, the value of the firm. Why is it investors are willing to pay 12 to 18 times earnings? Well, it's because they think that those activities are gonna to continue to generate cash flows in the future. If what you do is engage in short-term activities that are gonna destroy the long-term outcome, why will your stock trade at 12 to 18 times earnings? Investors will only re Investors will only be willing to continue to buy those shares if they think that the actions are not only going to continue, but are going to improve. Those incentives, therefore, are immediately there to invest in long-term customer retention, employee training, new product development, which are entirely contrary to the notion of short-termism because they're actions that are not going to realize benefits for multiple years, potentially. So there are sometimes in some organizations misaligned incentives. While shareholder value creation is about maximizing long-term outcomes, if companies incentivize short-term activities, like reward short-term EPS, or reward short-term sales growth, you could potentially get myopic activity. But that is not shareholder value creation. That is current income maximization. And there's very much a disconnect sometimes in the media about the difference between maximizing current income and maximizing the long-term value for shareholders. Value is the present value of all perpetual activity, all the future activities brought back to present. That's very different from maximizing the current outcome.